Hey guys, or welcome back to my channel, or welcome to a brand new video. Firstly, I am so sorry I have been so absent on here. There has been so much going on since we got back from the Maldives. It's the tail end of the Easter holidays at the moment. There's just been a stupid amount going on, but I did manage to get a few little snippets over the Easter holidays. Um, I was doing a bit of baking. I know you guys like uh, to see what we bake and we actually made the most amazing Easter cookie bars. They were really, really good. So I will insert that little bit of B-roll right now. Honestly, they were so good and probably incredibly high in calories, but we're not going to think about that too much. Anyway, like I said, tons going on at the moment, but I have actually um, posted um, a new blog on my website and it's actually a guest blog. So Linda Robinson has actually featured on my website before. Um, she did write a blog post that I featured on my website quite a few months ago now. However, she reached out to me again and um, showed me another one of her blog posts and I thought it was really fitting for my website. It is all about the things that a new mom can experience um, in the fourth trimester and as you guys know with Avery my postpartum period um, wasn't the most pleasant. She talks about all sorts in that post, diastis recti, mastitis, mastitis is something I experienced um, twice in my postpartum journeys. I had mastitis um, after Eli was born and I had mastitis when I decided to stop expressing for Avery. I really enjoyed reading it and it is over on my website if you wanted to check that out. As you guys know, my postpartum period with Avery had a few extra stresses to say the least, um, but you know, all of those regular fourth trimester things, I still had to kind of go through and experience alongside kind of coming to terms with Avery's new diagnosis, getting her through ICU. So there's that and I've also been uploading the little shorts that I managed to capture while we were away. So that's kind of been the majority of my content over the last few weeks. Again, I am really sorry, just so much going on. And at the moment, the biggest piece of news that I have to share is that we are moving. We are definitely moving, we are setting walls in motion, nothing is kind of set in concrete just yet but hopefully it will very very soon. I have started pulling boxes out, I've started kind of packing away some of the decorative bits. Um, so 
essentially that is kind of why i've been so absent um there's so much that i have to share like everything that's kind of been going on the last few weeks and to be honest without sounding like an awful vlogger i just don't have the time to sit and share the story so what i am gonna do is an updated q a very soon so please leave any questions that you've got down below um whether that relates to kind of our lives in general avery the boys what's been going on um any questions um there's no sort of topic limit and i will get around to filming a q a when i have a spare minute so as you can imagine everything is very up in the air at the moment um moving is not an easy feat for us especially since we're technically moving to a different country um so it's still within the uk that's kind of been a little bit dramatic but we are moving to wales and just some of their things some of their regulations they are just slightly different to england um and not only that there is a lot that we would need to navigate in terms of avery and making sure her care is set up making sure her team of medicals uh medical professionals are set up making sure all of her equipment is there making sure she have has everything she needs over there then there's the boys school that is a massive one it's a terrible time to move because zach, zach is about to do his year six sats um however because he has his ehcp he's kind of just going along with his year groups but they are fully aware that he's probably not going to pass those i think it is kind of more of a tick box so i'm not overly concerned i'm pretty sure the schools won't see it that way but at the end of the day this move has been a long time coming and we've just got to do what we got to do some things have kind of come up in our personal life that i'm not too willing to share however they've kind of um accelerated our plans a little bit so um that is what is going on that is why everything is just a bit crazy and I just don't have time to film as much as I used to. I'm hoping that when things are settled, I will have more time to. Um, fingers crossed, I will be able to do some moving vlogs. Again, it kind of just depends on how much spare time I actually have to pick up the camera um, because there's a lot to be done and not a lot of time. So, yeah. Any questions you have, leave them down below, even if they're questions about the Maldives as well. Um, I haven't really sat down and talked to you guys about the Maldives either, but long story short, it was like the best trip ever. It was amazing. So yeah, that is kind of essentially what I've come on here to say. I'm really sorry to keep it short and sweet. I did intend for this vlog to be longer, but then everything kind of changed. So with that said, thank you guys so much for understanding and I will catch up with you again soon. Bye guys.